Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Octopath Traveler. I'm your host, Mr. B Gazillion, and in the last episode, we finish Hanit's third chapter, leaving us with everybody's fourth chapter. We're getting close to the end of the game. Isn't that crazy? Well, maybe not that close, considering that, uh, well, you know. We're not that close. <laughs> yeah, we're at uh, how many hours of playtime? 48 hours, pretty much 49 hours. And we did the third chapter, so if you split that in three, that's about 15 hours uh, per chapter. So we've got another 15 hours to go, and that's assuming there's no like concluding chapters afterwards. Not 100% sure how that works, but that's okay. That's okay. There's not a big. It's not a big deal. We'll get through this. All right. So jobs. We want to equip her with what? She was a merchant before, was she not? She was. Let's do it. There you go. Um, in terms of skills that we can learn for her, she's not really equipped to get anything. And and she has have that ability that lowers the cost of her stuff. Uh, okay, additional money. Not near death. Endless items. No. Okay. Uh, okay, so I guess she needs to learn one more uh, merchant ability, which is 3,000 job points. And then she'll be able to unlock the seventh support skill, which I believe is the one he has. Oh, well, it's not here. Uh, which reduces the cost of SP, of stuff there, SP saver. I think that's what I'll do with, uh, how many points does he have? 13,000. He must be pretty close to being able to reduce his costs as well, which would be kind of worth it for him, considering that all of his abilities are... He doesn't run out of SP, to be honest, but what does he have in e equipped as secondary skills? You guys are like, oh, we get on with the episode. No. No. Re reduce random encounters. That's okay. That's not bad. Uh, the equipping character learns will attack restrained by... F that's good. Prevents the party from being surprised by foes. That's kind of important. Will regenerate HP each turn. You know what? This one's not as good. Uh, it does come in a little handy sometimes, but I don't think it's handy enough. Well, let's. Right now, he's a thief. Let's remember that, and let's make him a merchant. Yes, because I basically want him to learn all the ch merchant abilities. So learn skills. Rest. I don't know if I'll have enough. Fly. Ooh, baby! Oh, and I don't even need to learn the, the top one. So let's equip the boarding one. Instead of which one? Regenerate HP? Yeah. I'm just gonna give him SP saver instead. Boom! Super cool. He has it. And what's the other one where she can actually... Uh, is it this one? Actually, yeah, so that's the... Oh, that's the last one. So somebody else would need to learn... Yeah, I mean, he probably has the SP for it, considering that cost us a whopping... That wasn't as expensive as I thought he had. How much did he have? He had a 13,000 about. So, somebody else could learn that. Anyway. Let's go back to equip the jobs. Hopefully I don't have to re-equip everything. He was a thief. She was a merchant. There we go. Alright. Make sure our equipment's okay. No, it's not. Dang it, what did he have? Well, he, I think he had a Magus, Magus knife or something. Soul knife? It was a soul knife. That seemed to have boost his... Yeah, soul knife is going to be it. And divine blade. Anything better for elemental attack? Nope. Okay, so he's he's pretty good right now. Uh, she'll have a bridge lance, I guess, for reasons. Doesn't really matter. Or we'll give him the shadow. She's doing pretty good in everything else. I want her to be... Protected from silence, because if anything, I wanted to heal. There you go. I think having SP uh, saver on him is actually a good thing. And we can save over here. Uh, you know what? No, let's save here. All the episodes are uploaded, but there's really no uh, reason not to. And where... Well, I mean, the first thing I'm going to want to do is Oberix chapter which is here in Riverford. Not 100% sure. I guess coming here might... Orwell? Oh, I haven't even been to Orwell. Okay, let's go to Quarry Crest. 
There's a lot of exploring to do. Everybody's underleveled except for the main party. Uh, my main party. Uh, there's a lot of grinding I think I'll have to do too, because Alfin is in choir. Oh. We've been to that thing, right? This is the Shrine of Thieves? Yeah, we've been there. Okay. Boulder Fall and South Orwell Pass. Okay, we want to go to the South Orwell. It used to be a dangerous path, I'm pretty sure. And that was something, right? We've... Well, that wasn't something. There's at one point we went somewhere and it... Yeah, it was probably down the bridge. Uh, that looks like the cave. Yeah, I don't think I want to go in the cave. Across the bridge here. And of course, we're gonna face off against monsters. Ooh, that bird looks much bigger than. Oh, I haven't faced any of these things. Alright. Uh, well, I'm gonna hope for a thousand spears and hopefully I break most of these things. One, there's two, two. Ugh, I wanted. Oh, okay. Well, we broke the one that mattered. I'll break this guy. Actually, pretty strong, so. Uh, I'm gonna guess that. Uh, not summon, but I'm gonna guess they're weak against Trade Tempest. I was wrong. What about Thunder? Because they're flying. Yeah, well, the big one was, anyway. And if it's weak against the spear, that means it's weak against the sword. I don't feel like wasting mana, so let's just finish them off this way. Boom! Do I know my monsters or what? Not really, it was my third guess that was correct, I think. Uh, no, actually, my second guess, because I thought Trade Tempest first. Oh, we didn't come this far? Really? Huh, interesting. And there's... Look at that. Dragonflies or something. That's weird. Why would they put that detail here? That's so weird. They're not moving and they're not particularly well detailed. Are they supposed to fly off the screen? I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're such small. They're so small. They're like six pixels by six pixels, if even that. All right, so we're here now. Oh no, that's the one. That's a high level zone, I think. Obviously, I want to open up the town for. I need the more fireflies. That's so odd. So if we go up, that's probably the town. But I want. Treasures to come and open this one. Firestone, f fire soul stone, medium, not bad. Come this way. All right, what kind of monsters do we have here? This oh, more of these big ones. Right. Are they the same ones? No, it's not. These, okay. That's really epic music too. So these guys are up to no good. Uh, does she have a spear? She sure does. I could try and break one of these things. At least it doesn't actually miss. Ah, oh, I had to say something, didn't I? Something missed? Oh, of course it's on him. Alright. Well, how about you just do thousand spears then? Jeez, that really sucked too. Um, well... Since he's weak against this, oh, but he's silenced. All right, fine. Clamor, yeah. Kind of have to. Hopefully, I can break the guy in the back. I'm just gonna need to do thunder here. It's not gonna be particularly difficult. Oh, he's actually not weak against thunder. Great. All right. I could try and get lucky with this spear thing. Or, I can try and kill the guys in the back with one of these. I don't think there's any way I can really... Without wasting the, the, their vulnerabilities or whatever, I don't think there's much I can do here. So let's do... Lightning didn't do much, so we'll try Blizzard. I'm surprised that there's no Blizzard here. How about a trade win? Hmm. Out of my way. Well, let's do HP Thief, because... You know what? I'm going to boost it. Just so I do deal a lot of damage and heal myself. Exactly. And he was weak against the Where's dagger when we saw it. And in terms of job points and all that stuff, everything's just okay. I don't think we're going to 
land and onto anything that's absolutely nuts. Ooh. There's another sort of temple to the back here. Well, I'm going to come up here because it's probably treasure. Fair enough. There it is. Yeah, I'll take that actually. A large pomegranate that's going to give me some uh, BP. Good old BP. What does it stand for? Boost points? Yeah, that makes sense actually. There's clearly something in the back there that I want. Ugh. That I want to get to. It's one of those. Uh, and they're weak against spears, so I know what to do. Eh, no, I'm gonna do one of these for sure. Okay, there you go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, there's not really much she can do. I summon the knights are done, but at what cost, everyone? At what cost? Not worth it. Let's try and fight. Let's try and collect. Those are really crappy odds. Don't feel like wasting mana, so let's just. I don't know. She's not particularly good. She's not the one saving us. I will cut you down. There you go. We'll weaken them so she can actually try and collect. Oh, actually, we'll never have the chance. Because they'll probably die next turn. Alright. Oh, wow, okay. Who's this? Okay, they're actually dead. They were still in the white, so I, was, I thought they were still pretty full. I didn't think that would kill them. Until the game's a level. Okay, what do you have to say? Ahoy, traveler! I am the Chosen Knight. Not bad, eh? I mean, my sal uh, sal salutation. I've been practicing, you see. Really? Why? What if I scrutinize this guy? Let's see now. A noble river for, uh, Riverford. A noble of Riverford. Sorry, guys. He has always believed himself to be a man whose fate was ordained by the heavens. He once claimed to have seen a vision of the sacred flame and began training as a cleric, and another time resolved uh, to become a scholar after concluding that the noblest pursuit was that of knowledge. After some few days, however, he grew tired of both of these endeavors. There you go. Most intriguing indeed. What if we steal from him? He has a rune hatchet. Looks decent, I guess. Something I'd probably give to somebody that uses magic. And if I challenge him, he's actually a pretty crappy challenge. But he's only level 3, so let's just finish him off for now. He accepts our challenge and laughs about it. I'm going to accept the challenge because he's weak. We're going to beat him. Nope, that's not one of them. Yeah, I figured he's going to miss a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. We didn't even get to break him. And we got nothing out of it. Clearly not the chosen one if we beat him so easily. And yet, it unlocked some sort of story. Ugh. Woe is me, the chosen knight's adventure has ended even before it truly commenced. I yield, cut off my head, for that is your right. Do it as you will. No, I will. You, you won't take my head? Oh well, that's a rather a relief, actually. Ah, but my grueling training, my fasting, my endless practicing was all for naught. I, the Chosen Knight, was unprepared for this quest. That much is clear now. And now only one path remains left to me. Of a dancer? I shall go home. Cervantes. Yes, yes, tis definitely for the best, for this is a big and dangerous world. Forget me, dear stranger, for I am gone with the wind and shall return nevermore. Hmm, that's weird. You obtain 11,000, so end the tell of the adventurer's life. Really? Okay, I don't remember, but I'll take all of these. Critical nut large. Very impressive. What's in here? The Dragon Song Fane. Very cool. How big is this place? I mean, obviously I'm gonna save. I don't know if we can explore this whole place. Is there going to be a quest in here? Thank you. There's got to be stuff here, right? Oh, well, there you go. Crystal Helm? Hello! Okay, there's no way that's not good. Ah, 
Uh, I actually lowered my elemental defense by quite a bit, actually. Please. Come on. No. No. This is not good. Nothing's done that much physical damage to me that I've thought to myself, man, I wish I had a better helmet. Okay, so lots of treasures. Big paths, healing great bunch. There's probably going to be some tough monsters around here. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see. First monsters, thief, and special knights. Got some bows, got some swords. Obviously, I'm going to start with the arrow storm. Please have more. Yes! They're all weak against them. No! We almost did it. Couldn't you just not miss so much? Okay, well, at least they're not... At least they're not doing these giant abilities that I can't defend against, I guess. Like, uh... Okay. Ooh, I need to actually break this guy right now, no matter what. Okay, what would he be weak against? Fire, maybe? Please let it be fire. I don't want to... Uh, I wanted it to be fire so bad. But she has the bow, and we're gonna... Please don't miss. Good! We broke him. Now we can break everyone with one of these. Oh no! He was supposed to not miss. Ow, okay, yeah. Let's make sure we don't miss this time. I'm gonna do it this way. Maybe I can kill one of them in the process. Kill the small thief, thank you. She's obviously going to do a giant heal. Heal more. Everyone, and that's how much? Okay, good. Everybody's full. What could they weak? Well, it's clearly not fire. Let's try Blizzard. Nope, but it does end them. Alright, let's look at this XP and money situation here. 2,000. That's actually not very good. I think we got better, better gains outside. We'll get better against them, though, as we find out what they're vulnerable against. Okay, that looks like something. Cautious Stone. Not really sure what those do. I'm just gonna hug the top here, just in case there's like a hidden staircase. There isn't. Alright. Let's go higher. Worst off, if we get too close to death, we'll just uh, teleport back to town. And you know what? We can save, so we won't lose any progress. Uh, what, what do you guys think about that? This is the fun part about starting new chapters. You're presented with new areas that you haven't been to. And we fought this thing before. As we see... Oh, no! Well, I mean, there's not really much I can do here. What does she have? I guess we can just hit it with this. <laughs> what? Oh, you freaking jerk. Olive of, brand uh, olive of life, clearly. Here. And I'm going to see what I can do with my hunter skills. My god. Not doing so hot right now, am I? And he's going to act first next turn, too. That's kind of discouraging. Well, I'm not going to heal her up, because he, if he punches her, I'm screwed either way. So let's just... What does he have? In, oh, he does have a sword. Sure. We don't have dancing abilities here. That's exactly why I didn't want to do the other thing, so... We'll bring it back with a crappy little olive of life. Having her full health it doesn't matter. For the reason that I was saying above uh, earlier. More air storm. I actually did not need to break him this turn. I should have broken him next, next turn. Alright, so Blizzard... Doesn't really matter at this point. I'll make her do a heal more, but I don't know if it's really worth it. Warrior. Brad's Thunder. Brands. I always say Brad by accident, but whatever. We'll do another. And there you go. We ended it right there. Please don't feel like gaining a level. I don't feel like using all those healing grapes on you. 
And it's not gonna happen. Oh, we got a lot of good money there. Not, didn't get many good uh, healing... Uh, uh, sorry, many good job points there. A good amount, I mean. And heal more, obviously. Ethereum's gonna have to do some SP stealing soon. What are we gonna find up here? Well, obviously an item Ethereum needs to open. Holy Longbow. Holy Longbow? What does that do? The Holy Longbow... I don't know if I really care about increasing her critical in attack if it lowers her accuracy. Is that any good? I don't know. About here. Accuracy. How oh, critical. I just... Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. And that was it. I feel like I'm missing something. I guess not. I'll just get out of here. Let's get out of here, folks. Let's, uh... Might be a quest to come here or something. I find it odd that all we got was a crappy longbow and a cautious stone. What do you even do with a cautious stone? The town seems to be down this way. Hmm. We go down. Oh, this is the Alphans town. We're not even at Ulbricks town yet. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need to be right away. We can actually explore. We go this way. Orwell, Riverford. Ah, there's another. There was another little spot we could have gone to that wasn't quite obvious. Hmm. I wonder where that leads to. And of course. More of these big guys, and they're weak against lightning and axes. Okay. The battle is truly joy. Oh, let's see here. Well, I can't really. This is this guy. Well, I could try and end him. And then this guy is this guy. Ah, oh, there's absolutely no way I can break both of them. But there's a 50% chance. Oh no, he's not weak against anything. There's a 50% chance I can break this guy. Let's do it. Come on in. Uh, uh. Alright, well, Lightning Blast here is going to at least break the two in the back. I don't think I've ever seen them uh, dodge a spell, so at least we've got that going for us. You've got to be kidding me. That was really smart of you. But we won't let it get in our way. Just a regular luminescence for now. No, 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 no. What am I, what am I thinking here? We'll yeah. just chip away at at these things. I'll do my best. Again. Oh no, you missed. Please. Hit twice. Yes. There you go. We're gonna break him, and he's not broken. So boost this as high as we can. Kill the guys in the back. And all three of them. You know what? I'm okay with that. You should have studied harder. And. Uh, no level ups. Must be a treasure here. Uh, nope. What about here? Nope. And we're at Orwell, and that's Alfin's last town. Well met. Well met. This town here marks the edge of the Clifflands. We don't get got much in Orwell, but we feel, feel free to stay as long as you like. Greetings. Greetings. A bloke calling himself Cervantes just came by, clad head to toe in the finest mail. What was he up to to you, you reckon? Actually... 8%? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, this man claims to often bear witness incredible sights. A dragon sauntering through a town square, a deity manifesting to cavort with mortals, and so forth. No one is certain whether he is mad or daft, but given his confusion when challenged, at the very least, he seems to be sincere. Most intriguing, a hidden item. Nice. Where? Somewhere in town. You can try and steal from him. There you go. If we challenge him. I don't really feel like challenging everyone. Hello there. Hello, I'm Kaya, the girl with the dragon egg you've ever you've been ever so helpful with. I came to this village to look for blaze stones, so I might hatch the egg except. Uh, the dragon egg's been stolen. The man who took it said to, to meet him in Dragon Song Fane if I wanted it back. That hardly sounds safe, does it? 
Ah, I don't know what to do. I, every time I bump into her, I do this damn voice, and every time I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do that voice again, and I completely forget. I think it's like, because it's she's one of the only ones. Oops. Oh, shoot. That's okay. 80%. That's good enough to try again, right? There you go. Every time I tell myself I'll never do it again, and then I end up doing it again. Why? Why do I subject myself and you guys to that horrendous voice? It doesn't even sound like a woman. Alright, what's this grandma have to say? Hmm. Hmm, I wish my husband wouldn't drink so much. He doesn't know his own limits. Really? What can you tell me about your husband's limits? A woman who came to the village decades ago to marry her husband. If left to his own devices, he would spend his every leaf on drink. Knowing this, she has recently taken to waiting outside their home to prevent him from going to the tavern. Can I please just go talk to your husband? Move out of the way. I'll... Oh, of course I'm gonna... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There you go. Thank you for all those things. And you're... You're actually pretty challenging. I mean, I'm gonna kick your butt. And there's really no doubt about that. But if I can go challenge your husband, he might actually stop drinking. You never know. I think there's something here. It doesn't seem to be. I don't want to part ways. I'm going to challenge this woman. Let's go. Poor old lady. She doesn't stand a chance. A good day for and four. The battle is there you go. Swords and second serving. There you go. Ooh, she's a mage, is she? But at 250, she's going to do a, have to do a lot better than that. Too slow. Oh, too slow. Oh no, two of them. No Victory way. It ends here, lady. You should have yielded. You should have yield yielded. Yield. Boom. She never had a chance. I grow strong. 400 bucks. A little bit of XP, a little bit of job points. Now she's out of our way. <laughs> Fine challenge that was. It really wasn't. Jeez. A scrap of rope. Oh, a fine day to eat. Ah, a fine day. This village used to be a lively mining town, but now it's near deserted. Yeah. How's your... Ooh, really? 9%. That's really bad. Oh, I'm going to take all of these. Jeez, Louise. Why is it so easy to steal from all these people here? What if I challenge them? He's a high rating, but... I don't think I really need to heal myself. I'm still pretty high in health. I might, you know, famous last words. Okay, well, we hit him twice, but we didn't break him. Small fireball, thank you. That's fine. Probably just as strong as his wife here. So oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. Double hit again. You're gonna have to use magic, buddy. There you go. Firestorm. I figured you'd do that, because that's the exact same steps your wife took. One, and it ends here. I actually could have done a spear strike. A spear... What are they called? A thousand spears, jeez. And of course, Grand Thunder. It wasn't really a quest to make him stop, but hey, we might get something out of it. Healing great. A fine fight that was. Well, we beat him up, both of them, for nothing. Mm, I feel a little bad. In a tiny bit. A smidge, you know. About up here. Man, there's like just a small little thing we fit in here. Alright, Orwell. And can we go inside here? We sure can. Soothing dust. We're probably gonna something big is gonna happen here. We but we all know it. Don't make empty things like this for nothing. Uh, treasure chest here. Might as well open it. Special 68 gold. There's a reason why that was there. Let's check in if he had anything else to say, but he doesn't. Hello to you. My father was a merchant before me and traveled his fair share. Even said he saw a dragon near here once. Ah, interesting. Can we scrutinize you? 80%, let's do it. A traveling merchant who makes a habit of learning stories wherever she goes, that she might share them with the children of the orphanage in her hometown. Dragon of the... Most intriguing. We got... Dra oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, we, we had found a, an orphanage, but I forget where it was. 
Hello. Oops, that's not my way to say. Anything to steal from you? Probably at all. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Actually, they're probably not worth that much. Well, this one maybe, but the glass marbles we know are worth pretty much nothing. If it's food you want, go to that tavern. You won't get nothing here. Mm, I don't know. Let me check your pockets first. A large fire so Ma'am, you want to take that back? And one of these? I'm just going to take this. You lied to us. You told me there was nothing to see here. And because you lied about what's in your pockets, I kind of want to see what's behind you. Let's see here. Lady who loves nothing more than to cook and eat food. An exceptional cook. She uses her skill to feed the customers of her sister's tavern. Her specialty is deep fried great condor. Intriguing indeed. Well, there's probably something in here. So will you get out of the way, please? That's going to be a tough one. Look at that challenge. All right. First, I'm going to check if she's weak against swords, because that's always what I do first. And if she's not, I'm hit with defense, jerk. Uh -huh, you'll have to be able to hit me. She's probably weak against spears then. There you go. And so I break her. Whatever. And now she's done. I'm ending it here, lady. Actually, at the, at the level of strength you were, and that's probably going to... Yeah, that's what I thought. She was a couple of, uh, Dagger Storm. Seriously? That's an ability? Dagger Storm? Am I supposed to be, like, scared? Are you in the red yet? Are you in the red yet? You know what? Let's make it interesting. Let's end it with some arrows. Hmm, that did not hit as many times as I thought it would. Uh -huh. I'm gonna end it with thousand spears. How about that? I'm gonna break you. Eh, you're broken. Now I'm gonna actually really end it with the Brand's Thunder. If you're in the red, there's no way you can survive this. There you go. We're pretty much unstoppable. Hmm, a little bit better than the others. Not amazing, but still decent. A fine fight that was. You have my thanks. I just want what you had hidden here. Revitalizing jam. Not bad. And weathered boots. What does one do with the weathered boots? Something you equip? Ooh, increase the chance of encounter. I don't want that. Are you crazy? Blazon of protection. Yo, weathered boots has to be here, right? Like, tell me it's something I got. What? Where did they even go? There's no way. Weathered boots. Weathered, weathered boots. Where? You, would somebody wear weathered boots on their head? I don't know. Maybe? Could it be some sort of weapon? Like, somebody uses it as a staff? Like... Well then, the only other thing I can see is it's worth something. Got all these things I have for sale. Ah yes, weathered boots. Fetch is a modest price. I don't want your old boots. Jeez, what about here? Spiriting plum. Oh geez, look at the time, guys. Truth is. Twas over a decade ago now. Me and my son quarreled and he left in a huff. That he wanted to be a knight, imagine. Of course, I told him what I thought of that. I also told him he was a, a lily-livered ass who'd amount to nothing. Truth be told, I regret that was wrong of me, and all I want is for me son to come home again. But the time for that's long gone, and I suppose I'll have to sleep in the bed of what I, that I made because of the wayward son. We can probably find where he went. Let's see now. A woman of Orwell who lives alone. Her husband died young, leaving her to raise her son by herself. However, after a heated argument, the youth stormed off, never to return. Even now, more than a decade later, she sometimes finds herself staring at the front door. He slams shut behind him. Oh, so sad. That's so sad. Let me take this grief away from you. Clearly, this essence of plum's gonna remind you of your son. Let me take that away from you. There you go. You should be, you should feel better, and I should beat you for the way you treated your son. But you know what? I actually won't do that. Bear cleaver. Wow. Wow, look at this. Final cape. Wow. Not that good. Access speed goes down. All until attacks go down. All for a little bit of extra physical defense. Yeah, no thank you. 
thank you, but no thank you. But the anime, this one is kind of appealing. This does raise everything else. The thing is, your, my evasion is so high, I'm like, I, you, they could practically not hit me. But it's still a pretty decent chunk of an, an increase for elemental defense and physical defense. That's what makes these so hard to choose. Uh, only 20 defense physical. I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm just exploring the town first. Greetings. Greetings, how do you like the view? It's all this village has, really. Oh, yeah? Let me see if you're lying. A man who spends every waking moment feeling sorry for himself. Two days ago, he, his advances were rebuffed by a tavern maid. And ever since, he has taken to spending hours on this bridge, staring to the distance in silence. Well, that's kind of sad. Do you have flowers maybe we can steal from you? That we can bring to you. Is her name Olive? Is that what it is? Can I beat you back to your senses? Maybe. I could maybe beat him back to his senses. Let's see. Where's this woman in the tavern? I don't see a woman in the tavern. It could be the tavern. Steve, did I already come up here? No, I Not didn't. Uh, the Ogren Eagle Nest in the forest in the forest of Rube, just northwest of here. Their feathers might be beautiful, but they're still deadly creatures, so you'd do well to keep your distance. Okay. Oh, okay. I think so. Yeah, we'll scrutinize. A man born and raised in this village who works as a mender of buildings and tools, though he lacks the formal training of a carpenter since most of the younger gener generations choose to leave the village when they can, it falls to people like him to remain and do wh uh, that which no one else is willing to do. Well, there you go. Got a discount at the end. Good, because I'm actually going to use that one. And, of course, I'm going to use all of this. Wow, everybody's at 100% steel. I guess maybe Cyrus being a higher level is good. Ha! Ah, for the last three days now, that merch... <clears throat> Why am I doing that voice? I promised myself I wouldn't do that voice again. For the last three days now, that merchant's been saying he's going to throw himself off the cliff. I wish he'd get on with it or go home. That vacillating gets on my nerves. He's a pest. There's no two ways about it. Blimey, I wish someone would do something about him. All right, we'll go push him off. Let's see now. A layabout who detests all exertions, exertions to the point that he hates having to expend effort to avoid expending effort. Unsurprisingly, he is unemployed, and we found a hidden gem somewhere. Oh, it's right here. So obviously, I'm going to check it. An empty coin purse. Of course it's empty. And do we have anything we can steal from him just to make his lot just a little bit worse? Yeah, yeah. You don't want him to have all of these. You don't know what he could do with them. Seems like it would be ne 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 nefarious. And... No, what's my uh, SP? Yeah, my SP situation's not great. Don't come near me. I mean it. I was cheated in the trade and left without a copper to my name, so now I'm faint to throw myself off this cliff. I'm not fit to call myself a merchant. It's all over. Unless some golden opportunity falls into my lap, that is. I said, don't come near me. So begins to tell on, on precipice. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Tell me something about a merchant who failed to heed the advice of others and was taken by the false promise of a charlatan. Believing it too late to redeem himself, he has decided to shuffle off his mortal coil. All right, well, let's see. Can I take something off your, you know, let me lift your spirits here. Empty coin purse. You don't want to be reminded that you have no money. So, holy moly. Okay, I've been saying that I would, uh, can I not? There we go. Burning plum basket. Nice. Okay, well, obviously this episode has been going on a little bit longer than I anticipated. So, uh, yeah, we'll end it here. In the next episode, we will head to Ulbrich's actual town. I don't know if we'll ch start his chapter, because we might bump into side quests on the way, considering there are some side quests here. Um, as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what you think of um, Octopath Traveler. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.